How are we doing everyone? As you can see, well you saw it in the Liverpool reaction, new place, I've moved house, it's my new power chair, I'm just missing basically a white cat from being a Bond villain. But I want to talk about the Liverpool and United game a little bit more and after Gary Neville's debate with Jamie Carragher on Monday Night Football on Sky Sports, I think there are a lot of key points I think both of them raised and I want to speak about them in this video and give my opinion on whether I think Neville is right about Man United's sort of title challenge this season whether Carragher's right about the mentality of United, there's lots to discuss. So make sure you subscribe to United People's TV down below if you enjoy these types of videos and smash the like button. Come on. Look, I've got a new power throne. You may as well give me a like for it, right? But before I get into it, I want to thank Snickers Protein because we are partnered with Snickers Protein over this January transfer window, right up until transfer deadline day and with a live show going on the Ball Street YouTube channel. Make sure you check that out on the 1st of February, but United People's TV and Snickers Protein, we have partnered together. And during this, these next couple of weeks, there'll be something called Fanline, hashtag Fanline. So make sure you send in your questions on Twitter to me at United People's TV. If you have any gripes or any questions about transfers or anything to do with Man United, send them to me on Twitter at United People's TV and use the hashtag, hashtag Fanline. And I will probably answer some of you, I won't probably, I will definitely answer some of your questions every single day on YouTube and Facebook, lots of videos. So make sure you get your questions in if you would like them to be answered by me. And I'm looking forward to hearing your questions. But the questions that are being asked by Man United fans at the moment are all about the Liverpool and United game. And as I said, Neville and Carragher had a pretty damn heated debate on Sky Sports Monday Night Football. And I think both of them raised a lot of good points. So I want to look through all of those points in this video and give my opinion and, and react basically to what Neville and Carragher had to say. So let's get straight into the first point that Gary Neville had to make. When you look at before the game, what I said, I thought Liverpool would come out like animals. I thought that they would potentially reassert themselves as a danger that could make a real statement, a little bit like City did against United in the league a couple of week ago, a week or two ago. And that would have played on United's minds. Jamie, Graham, were all expecting a ferocious Liverpool performance, nine days off, loads of preparation. And there's a little bit of, not worry from United fans, but excitement, but a little bit, could this be a point whereby Liverpool could reassert themselves? I think, I think there was a bit of fear. From, there was definitely a bit of fear from United fans because going into this game, that something else was on the line that hadn't been on the line for United for so long. And that was, as I said, the ability to actually say that we're dining at the top table rather than just being a plucky challenger to Liverpool this year, which is... Uh, Let's be honest, like no United fan truly expected us to have a chance at competing for the Premier League this year. So that's why it was a bit of a confusing situation going into this game. And I absolutely did expect Liverpool to come out firing and dominate. That's what Liverpool do to United at Anfield. But I think uh, as strange as Gary Neville's analogy here was, I think it sort of sums up what my reaction was to the game. They prepared for the toughest hole on the course, the long par four, the one that you take a par on all day. They've played it, and as they've played it, they've walked off to the next tee and they've looked back and thought, if I'd just gone for that second shot and been a bit more bolder into the green, I might have got a birdie and maybe I should have done it. But that's only after the, after the hole has finished. But you get the team news. You're standing on the tee, you get the team news, and it's a temporary green. It's moved 50 yards closer. There's no wind. As I said, I think Gary is spot on here in saying that kind of with hindsight, looking back on the game, United fans would have wanted more than they did going into it. But at the same time, I think Jamie is right to question that because looking at that Liverpool team with the starting eleven, they did have two central midfielders starting at centre-back. They did have two midfielders who hadn't started together. So the opportunity was there. And I did say this in my match reaction. I considered it an opportunity lost because it was a real opportunity for United to actually exert some dominance over Liverpool. And after what's happened in the last few years, I do think it was a, a, a semi-opportunity lost. And this is, this is what I think. I don't think Gary Neville's completely right. And I don't think Jamie Carragher's completely right and everything they say here. But I think the truth is a blend of the two. And, and that's kind of the point I want to make in this video by looking and reacting to what they had to say. But there was one point I would wholeheartedly agree with Gary Neville on, and that was when he was talking about United's mentality and where we are as a club right now. I genuinely believe, Dave, this team is not ready, it's not right yet, to be able to adapt its mind from seven or eight weeks ago, where its manager was reportedly on the brink of 
under pressure, some said maybe getting the sack, to seven weeks later thinking, right, we're title winners within a game, we're coming to Antild, our toughest away game, and they're a bit weaker, they're not playing that well, all of a sudden, let's just go for it. I don't think they're ready, because the best teams... The champion teams are able to do that. They're able to step up. This team is not a champion team. I don't think any Manchester United fan or any pundit or analyst thinks that Manchester United are going to win the league this year. They've got a chance, but they don't think they're going to do it. When they're ready, they will do that. I understand where that team was yesterday and where Ollie was in terms of his management of the game. I mean, it really is hard to remember in, in football how your feelings every single week and how things change and adapt over time. But it, only seven weeks ago, it was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer on the verge of being sacked, according to everybody. And it's just the fact that our consistency has proven so well. And the fact that Liverpool have gone down a little bit and City have gone down a little bit. And we, we've taken advantage of that opportunity that the conversation has changed. The team itself hasn't really changed too much. and We're learning new things. And as I said, that game against Liverpool was a new pressure and a new experience for these United players because they went into the game top of the league by three points ahead of Liverpool. All eyes were on United in that sense. And the fact that Liverpool had a weakened team meant that there was a little bit more pressure on United. But it was certainly a game that was for United and the consistency of this season. is Win the Premier League is across 38 games. It's not about winning at Anfield away. Every single, you win at Anfield away like you did under Van Howe. It's incredible. It's an incredible experience. And it's an incredible game. And moment for the team, and that, and that could that could be a help and be another stepping stone towards where this United team wants to be. And we all want United to be winning Premier League titles and to be winning Champions Leagues, obviously. But I think Neville is right in the idea that this team isn't ready for that yet, because we haven't really shown anything like that apart, and except the last couple of months. It's something that we're learning and we're doing and we're getting better at. But I do agree with Neville on this point. And, and this is probably where it's going to be a debate. And let me know where you stand on this in the comments. And someone who certainly disagrees is Jamie Carragher. What, what, what I couldn't believe in, in the second half, and to be honest, I was disappointed Liverpool never won the game. But the more I thought about it, it was actually... Where was the actual... There was no stage in that game where Manchester United showed any authority. I mean, I'm not really... I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what Jamie Carragher is trying to get out here because there was authority from the last 20, 25 minutes it was all about United rather than Liverpool. Certainly, they dominated the first half, but certainly we did show a level of authority, sorry. And I think Jamie's kind of exposing himself here as somebody who has not watched United. Of course he hasn't. He has not watched every single United game for years because he goes on to make this point next. Liverpool, Manchester United never had a spell of possession in Liverpool's final third, putting them under pressure, sustaining attacks. The same against Manchester United, uh, Manchester City game. You said... Uh, a couple of weeks ago. If Jamie had watched us properly over the last few years, he'd know that this is a team that does not sustain attacks, that does not sustain pressure. And I would consider it a weakness of this team. It's something that we have to adapt to and, and get better at. And that's something that Liverpool do so well. It's, it's an asset of their game. But United are a team that work more in moments rather than in, in, in pure dominance. There are games like Leeds where we're dominating the majority of the football from the start and that's something that all United fans want to see more often. But all of us have got used to the fact that United won't just dominate a game possession-wise. It's not what you do and you don't really do that at Anfield anyway. Even if even if you're playing, with, as, a, as never went on to say later on, even if Keane and Scholes are there, United rarely, if ever, really dominated at Anfield. So it, it's a strange one. I think Jamie Carragher's... Trying to make a decent point here, but he's going about it the completely wrong way and sort of exposing the fact that he hasn't really watched that much of United. So this might be one of the best chances Manchester United have. That might be one of the best chances United have for a few years to win at Anfield. The game is there. It's about top midfield players. They never once, I thought, showed that authority. The Man United. And, I mean, as I said, I disagree with, you know, completely what he said. I mean, but that point there, I don't think any United fan, let's be honest... I don't think any United fan could really disagree with that because it really was one of the best opportunities we're going to have to win at Anfield. An empty Anfield with Fabinho and Henderson at centre-back, with Shaqiri playing in midfield. It's, it's not the Van Dijk and, and, and the, the wonderful team that Liverpool has at the moment. So certainly it was an opportunity. And that is why I said it was an opportunity lost because, you know, it could have been a watershed moment in the idea that maybe beating Liverpool can help take the mentality of this team up towards where Bruno Fernandes is, up towards maybe where Paul Popper is and where all the other players need to get towards. Uh, but it wasn't, it's not a game where United fans, I don't think, will be coming away from that massively negatively because 
it, it, it still maintains the good run we've been on. A year, a whole 365 days since we've been defeated away in the Premier League in the last game there was at Anfield. So that's the sort of... The expectations that went, we, everybody had going into the game, sure, it was definitely an opportunity loss. I said it in my reaction, I've said it plenty of times here. But again, I think Gary Neville is spot on in his rebuttal back to that point that Carragher made. I never thought, I can never think of once that we went there, and so Alex Ferguson will probably ring me tomorrow if he's watching and say, you're absolutely talking rubbish. I can never think of once where we went to Anfield and we were able to dominate the ball, show authority. We were back up against it for the first hour of every single match ever played there. And even at 1-0 up with 25 minutes to go, you couldn't go for it. It was impossible to go for it. Never once. Only Louis van Gaal a few seasons ago did I see Manchester United ever dominate at Liverpool. I thought, whoa, that's a performance. Every other year that I've watched us at that ground, I've always seen a struggle to the last minute. Because let's be honest, all of us have got the memories of watching United play at Anfield and... It is horrible for large, large portions of it. Even in the games where you win, you 1-0 from John O'Shea, that was right in the 93rd minute. Even the only game, as he's mentioned there, Gary's mentioned there, is that game that we had under Van Howe because his, I don't know, his record against the top six teams was unbelievable. That was Herrera in there, Mata, Wanfield. It was one of the, if not the, probably best performance you'll ever see from United at Anfield, but it was a one-off. United typically don't dominate at Anfield, United typically don't win at Anfield. And when you win at Anfield, it's a major moment in the season. And that's where the opportunity was lost because it, it could have been, if you, everything that's gone well this season, if you slap a win at Anfield on top of that, maybe it can help transform this team quicker than just coming away with a nil-nil draw. And that's where I think the opportunity was lost. But the fact of the matter is, is that if United can go to Anfield for the rest of eternity and not lose, I'm fine with that. That's just Anfield away, man. Anfield away, it's the one you look for first or when the fixtures are released. And if United can stay undefeated at Anfield for the rest of eternity but never win a game, I'd take that. In the Premier League anyway, let's talk about Champions League and stuff like that. But that's different. But this, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is why it's such a confusing thing. It's even confusing sort of talking about it because... There are fair points that, Neville's make, that Neville makes, sorry, and there are fair points that Carragher makes, and that's why I think that the, the truth is somewhere in between the two. It certainly was an opportunity lost, but it, it certainly wasn't a result where United and Solskjaer will be coming away from it angry. Sure, they'll be disappointed that we didn't win, but there won't be anger towards it because it is Liverpool away at Anfield. But maybe it's the final point that Gary tries to make and that Jamie disagrees with that will cause maybe the most, the biggest divide in opinion anyway. I've been critical of this Manchester United team a lot in this last five, six years. So I'm not going to sit here and defend them when I don't need to defend them. Yesterday, they were at Anfield playing as the top Liverpool team. They're establishing themselves at a place in the league where, to be fair, none of us ever thought they would be. I understood why it wasn't a bit gun call when going for it towards it. Even though part of me in the game thought, if they were a bit further ahead in the development, if they're a bit further ahead in the journey and their experience, they'd have gone for it here. But they're not. The seven weeks ago, the manager was getting sacked, the players were getting booted out. Rayola was talking about Pogba. They were all over the place. They were getting kicked out of the Champions League. What's, what's this journey? And You're talking like Man United at this small oh club. Was, was Jurgen Klopp on Manchester journey? Manchester United keep telling oh us the biggest God. club in the world. Look, the fact of the matter is, Gary's right that the, the, this United team is still on this, this journey and it... Jamie Carragher might try and disagree with it, but fucking this is exactly what has happened to Liverpool for 30 odd years before they won the league under Jurgen Klopp. Maybe you got it fucking wrong, Liverpool. Maybe you didn't do it properly. And maybe that's why it took you three damn decades to win the Premier League again. So maybe you should probably pipe down in this situation because United for the last seven years, it's been shit in the Premier League. It has been horrendous. Watching us under... David Moyes, to Louis van Gaal, to, to Jose Mourinho. We finished second under Jose. Cool, but we were, what, 20-odd points behind? That, it didn't fucking matter. The Premier League has been abysmal for United. So the United are now top of the Premier League. And at this point in this journey, if you want to call it a journey, whatever you want to call it, we're in the best place that we have been for a long, long time. And now is the time where fans of other teams, rivals like Jamie Carragher, are going to try and nitpick. They're going to try and squeeze anything out of us and try and say, Why? well, what about this? Because they can't laugh at our results anymore. So therefore, they have to question the strategy. 
Therefore, they have to question the methods. They have to tell you, we're not doing that right. That's not the United Way. You don't give a fuck about the United Way. The United Way, as far as all United fans are concerned, the last seven years has been absolutely crap. And anything that can change that narrative, I'm all aboard that. And sure, we want the United Way where we're attack, 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 and we're scoring 93rd minute winners and we're 3-0 up in the first 30 minutes of games and we're dominating. But the reality is, is that I don't think this United team will dominate. That's not the style of this United team under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Maybe that would change with another more powerful defensive midfielder and another dominant centre-back. I don't know. But it just doesn't really feel like that's the style that we're building under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Uh, and you don't always have to dominate possession to dominate a game. Had we scored our big chances there, Pogba, and I personally think that Rashford not putting through Cavani was actually a bigger opportunity that we missed. Uh, but that's something, a different debate altogether. But this whole thing is a big debate. Between Carragher, between Neville, between United fans and between everybody else who's watching United be at top of the league again and they're getting a bit confused and they're getting a bit annoyed and therefore they're going to start twisting the knife in where possible. That's kind of what I feel Jamie Carragher was doing a little bit but at the same time I did agree with some of the points he raised and that's what I said in this video. So let me know where you stand on all this. This is quite a long one. This is quite actually quite enjoyable doing a video like this. If you enjoyed it, come on, drop a like on the video. If you want to see me do more reactions, more analysis of an, like, like the inception of punditry, I suppose. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, make sure you send in your fan line questions for Snickers Protein over on Twitter at United People's TV. And as I said, make sure you subscribe if you're new and drop a like on the video. But let me know where you stand on this whole Neville and Carragher debate because I think it's it, it will split opinion between United fans and it all depends on what side of the fence you sit on about where where we are at the moment and where we all want to be and whether or not those two are aligned at the moment or not.